happy Sunday. Yes. I'm so confused as to what day it is. I slept so hard last night because I pulled a double on Saturday at my job. And I'm out and about. I had to take my mom a cake, a marble pound cake, and somebody tried to break into our building last night. Not mine specifically, but in our building. So that was an adventure as soon as I got off from work last night with the police and everything, but nothing was taken. Nobody got in, in there, but they were trying to get in there. That's a little on the scary side. I think it's because my neighbor's son bought her, uh, excuse me, a piece of hair. Oh, it wasn't hair, that was something else. I think it's because my neighbor's son bought her an infinity. Um, and so now they might think that we have money or she has money or something like that. I don't know. I, I really, one of our neighbors died on Thursday. And so we thought it was his spirit coming back saying goodbye or something. It was just a whole lot of eerie stuff going on. And at the end of the day, it was, it boiled down to somebody was trying to get in, in the house. I mean, in the building. So right now everything's okay, but I slept with my mace on the spray set so I didn't have to turn it when to use it and I had my small little Yankee solid wood bat right by my bed I took a chair and I folded it I mean I put it right in the front of my patio doors so if they did make it in they were gonna trip over that metal it's wrought iron and so they wouldn't hurt themselves and then I put I forgot what I put in front of my front door but yeah it was a little scary I was like Henderson is a small little town but it's a small little bad time bad town and it's really um sections of it you know that are bad and now it's coming over there to us and whew, we're gonna have to get some motion detectors i love that's another thing i did i put my patio um light on and left it on all night long because all of us turn our patio lights off so it's dark Nobody can see anybody what they're doing. You can actually see the backside of our building from the road. So if we all have our lights on, then it's going to be harder for them to sneak around. Sorry, y'all. I'm driving out here with these fools. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's Sunday. Everybody and their grandma's out. And it's like 80 degrees out here. What the hell? I haven't been able to do any vlogging or editing, but mainly vlogging because I've been at work. And when I wasn't working, I was sleeping. So, um, I'm trying to, I'm going to see if I can catch up. <sighs> this is exhausting. <laughs> you know, you always get a burden with a blessing. You get a blessing with a burden and a burden with a blessing. It's never, you could just be, you know, so I got the job. I got a little piece of money and, you know, I'm basically going to, probably only be working up until after Christmas because then they cut hours like I was planning on trying to work up until March my birthday month but hey if I go in, in um, December that'll be fine because you know it's really really slow it's the first of the year and after all the holidays are over with everything just dies down so I'm trying to get as many hours as I can now because um, I've been nicking off my wish list you know trying to get everything I wanted to do that I wasn't able to do before so anyway it's a really really ugly cloudy overcast out here I mean it's not even ugly it's really beautiful I'm looking at these really huge fluffy um white clouds right now but it rained last night it's supposed to rain all day today and I'm just trying to get in the house before it starts raining so my mom and my sisters were going to a church today. I know I'm all over the place because I'm chitty chatterbox, but it's been a while since I talked to my peeps. But my mom and my sisters were going to a church, a uh, visiting church today, and that's why they were here. And then they found out that, well, the pastor sent out a, a text that women, please don't wear pants. Ooh, wee! I tell y'all, God sits high and looks low, because that's all I wear. I don't wear dresses. I don't wear skirts. I just don't look cute in those things anymore, and I just don't like them. But I look decent. I look, you know, presentable. I'm always respectable, but 
any church that tells me what I can and cannot wear, I'm not going. So that was the rap status for me anyway. Since I wasn't going anyway, it didn't matter. But I, I got a little fluffy under the under the you know, under the collar. <laughs> but I just went to Walmart to do a water run. Y'all know me and my water runs. And then I went to the Dollar Tree over there by the Walmarts and they didn't have Jack. Um, they were real boring in there. So now I'm on my way over. To, sorry, it's shaking. We're going on a bumpy road. Now I'm on my way over here to the Dollar Tree by my house. And then after I leave there, I'm going home. I have to get all the garbage out of my house. Ugh. I need to clean, but I'm not doing no cleaning today. I really want to take everything off my kitchen counters and put the stuff that I'm not using like my Instapot, my George Foreman grill and my um what's the other thing we call it um it's three big things that are sitting up on my kitchen counters right now that I really am not using I very rarely use my George Foreman grill in the winter time and if I do, I can always just pull them out when I need to use them. They're just taking up a lot of space on my counter. And I really, really want to clean everything. I mean, seriously clean everything off and get rid of some of the stuff. I'm not throwing away anything. I'm just making space. So that's on my list of things to do. And I'm off tomorrow, but I got, I had running I have to do, personal running I have to do. And then Friday, my sister, when I'm off again, my sister wants me to take her on a Dollar Tree run. So, I don't know when I'm going to get time to do it, but I'm definitely going to film it because I think it's going to be very interesting. And I want to show you guys the before and the after because my counters are really, really cluttered. And, I mean, I like everything the way it is, but because it's a holiday and me, you know, usually baking more, which I don't know. Um, yeah, I want to get it cleared off so I can have just a little bit more room to make my um, pie doughs, you know, my pie crust and all that kind of stuff because people are already asking me, am I making pecan pies um, and sweet potato pies and apple, deep dish apple pies? And I already told them, yeah, per request, you know. I'm not going to just, you know, I'm going to make some for my family, but if you want one, you better let me know. So, anyway, I'm almost here at the Dollar Tree, guys. I just wanted to check in and let you guys know I'm okay. I'm still alive. I know I haven't been, you know, really, really uh, doing my YouTube. I tried. I just got behind when I had to pull that double because if I hadn't had to pull that double, I would never have fallen behind. But, um, you know how you, somebody asks you to do a favor and you say yes before you think about it, and then you regret it. And then uh, there's a third part, because once I get paid, I'll be like, oh, okay, that's, a cool, that's okay now. <laughs> you know? But, yeah, it was brutal. It was very, very hard, and I prayed my way through it because pretty much at the end of the shift is when I started falling apart. And I'm like... My legs can't stand anymore, you know, so anyway, I did make it through, so I'm okay, so now I'm just trying to do a little Dollar Tree run, get some retail therapy in, because I really, really do miss the Dollar Tree when I don't, when I don't, um, you know, frequent it as much as I like to, but anyway, I still want to go up to Raleigh and check out theirs, because I'm not finding a lot of stuff down here. And typically, I usually have to go up to Raleigh to look. But I'll talk to you guys later because I'm getting ready to go in here to the DT, see what they have. I hope they have something. All right. Bye, guys. Okay, you guys. I'm here at the Dollar Tree. And they've got all their little mitts out and pot holders. And they're very, very cute. I think they're a little bit bigger than the ones that were at Walmart. I'm not sure. They have the finger tip towels and they have all of them except for the red truck one. I guess everybody took those. They got the gingerbread recipe here. They got the season's greeting, which I love. That looks so familiar. And they got the dashing through the snow. But they took the fingertip towels. They took all the... Um, the red truck one so 
I just wanted to show you guys those. They're so cute. I already bought some for my um, Walmart's, but I did leave a little little wiggle room for some from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello, my beautiful people. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Sunday. You guys are gonna see me in the same apparel for a couple of videos because I'm tired. I'm trying to purge. I'm trying to, is it purge? No, not purge. What is it? I'm trying to store up some videos before I go back to work. I know there's a specific word for that, but I can't think of it right now. So I went to the Dollar Tree a little bit earlier. I actually went to two Dollar Trees. If y'all hear some noise, that's my dishwasher. I just washed a load of clothes. They're in the dryer, so you might hear the dryer. And now I got the dishwasher going because I'm trying to get everything done before I go back to work. So Monday, I'm off, but I have to run a lot of, per well, I said that before, I have to run a lot of personal um, errands tomorrow, so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys what I got. I didn't get a lot. They didn't have a lot. What they did have, I didn't want because when I went to the second Dollar Tree that I know over here by my house, they had all the nice pot holders and dish towels. They were out of the fingertip red truck towels. It was like a whole big space empty there. But they all smell like those rugs that we all bought like a couple of months ago. They had a smell to them. So I would not buy any. Let me turn this air um, down a little bit. This is, I can't believe it was 80 degrees out here today. And I keep getting hot and cold and hot and cold. But yeah, so I only bought like one dish towel that did not have a smell to it you know because they smelled like those rugs and I know I could have brought them home and washed them but I didn't want to because I was planning on using them for decoration and when I use these pot holders and towels as decoration I never wash them so anyway let me turn the camera around and I'll show you the few little things that I did get um, I went to Walmart first and I got my water and again I got a case which was short of one it comes in eight but somebody had taken one but I was happy to get this because when you go to the Walmarts up in Wake Forest and Raleigh they have so much of this diet tonic water I really really need to just go ham you know up there because they got plenty of it I did get a couple more um, bottles of my distilled water because once I go back to work y'all I don't feel like making these water runs so I try to get everything done while I'm working I mean while I'm off I did pick up a little treat for myself some Tootsie Rolls I think I got the last bag there I saw these cute cute little elephants and they had them in gold and they had them in silver and that's the only new thing I saw and it's kind of ceramic it's got no no um thing but it's so cute y'all i just like what in the world what's that say yeah a green bread product I'm trying to get the light over here so y'all can see come on focus camera focus y'all make me sick when y'all do this come on focus 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 okay so it is a green bread product but i just thought it was adorable and y'all know when you put an elephant in your house and it's turned the right the right direction it's supposed to bring good luck but you know that's what god does but i just thought it was really really pretty and they did have it in in silver as well but i like gold i told y'all before i will be picking up batteries every time i go there and i see these i'm going to be picking up a couple of packs at a time I saw the regular cranberry sauce in Walmart's and they're like uh, almost two dollars for the big can. Dollar, dollar something. Yeah, I think it's like dollar ninety four, dollar ninety eight for the big cans in Walmart. So I'm still getting my little ones uh, for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I also got me a thing of the. I've been seeing this for a while, y'all. But I've been trying to abstain because of all the sugar in it. But I used to eat this with peanut butter. A peanut butter and marshmallow fluff sandwich when we were kids. Oh my God. So 
<laughs> it's also good to use in your candy sweet potatoes and things like that. And this was the last jar that I saw on the shelf today. So I just went ahead and grabbed that while I was there. And then at a different, uh, oh no, this is all at the same Dollar Tree. I found some more of my favorite. Oh my God, I love these. These are the, sorry, uh, my camera's acting funny. These are the limited edition um, Venusic Glimmering Pine. And I have one in my bathroom from the first time I bought them and they just smell so good. I'm not really a true fan of the gingerbread, so I didn't buy any more of those. But I did get me two more of the Glimmering Pine Venusics because they smell adorable. And the only towel, dish towel that I saw, I was looking for the um, Christmas flower sack towels. But of course, I'm going to have to go to Raleigh and Wake Forest and before I'll find it. But I did find this one and it did not have that smell to it. So I just thought that was cute. And again, that's just going to be for decoration along with the pumpkin pie one that I'll be making sweet potato pies with. <laughs> but I thought it was kind of cute. It's kind of small, but it's on both sides. And here I go smelling again. Because <laughs> I was smelling all that stuff. I was like, ooh, these smell like those rugs we got a couple of months ago. Ugh. Okay, so they did have some really cute mugs um, that had all different kinds of sayings. But as far as I'm concerned, this one, I had to get this one because it says, I love Santa. And yes, I am old and I still love Santa. But as far as I'm concerned, you know, these mugs are pretty much the same as all the other mugs that they, you know, like I bought this one. I love you more than coffee. And if you look at the mugs, they're pretty much the same, just with different writing on it. So I only got one because my mug collection runneth over like everything else. I just can't seem to do anything in moderation, y'all. So I did see these checkerboard, um, what do you call them? Uh, I forgot, what do you call these? But these were in the small Dollar Tree over by the Walmarts and they had all different sizes. They had the Christmas tree, the um, ornament, and then they had the flat round ornament, and then they had the star. And I said, well, you know, I don't know. I said I wasn't going to buy any more ornaments right now because I really want to go to Walmart and pick up a couple of ornaments that I saw there that I really, really do want. But I got to calm down with these ornaments because I got to get my wish list stuff done first. So I got to get my glasses and a few more things. So I think I'm going to calm down on the ornaments right now and just chill. But when I saw that, I just couldn't help it. I love that color. And since all the pot holders that I got from Walmart, they had the checkerboard or whatever you call it. I call it checkerboard. I don't know what they call it. Um, I don't even know what I did with the towels from Christmas, but because I had bought the pot holder set from Walmart with the checkerboard, checkerboard um, outlining, I decided to get those. I might go back and get the star and the flat ornament. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all know how crazy I am. <laughs> but that is the end of my Sunday little small Dollar Tree and Wally World haul. And I hope you guys enjoy watching. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Love, peace, and happiness. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And pray that we stay safe in our building because these hooligans out here are already acting up, trying to break into our building. So pray for us. Thank you, guys. Have a blessed day. Bye.